Dr. Carl Luther. I am a board certified family physician. I'm from the United States and uh, I've been here in Okarumpa for the last year and a half. Prior to this I was in private practice in Snohomish, Washington, which is north of Seattle, Washington. I had a very good thriving practice that was going up there, but it's the call of God that really brought me here to Okarumpa. What excites me about being here is the help that we can provide the patients that uh, are here. Um, we can provide a service and keep people on the field and that's our whole goal and our whole purpose. Some of the things that we're seeing here, I mean just uh, recently, yesterday, we had a expat who had malaria and two different strains of malaria at that and we see uh, dengue fever which uh, there's little that we can provide other than supportive care but um, where we can at least start some of that supportive care. We see pleural effusions, and we see ascites, we see tuberculosis. Um, we had a child last night where we were called to, had a choking episode, and we were able to provide first assistance for that six-month-old child. And we get a whole variety of simple items as well as coughs, colds, um, simple skin infections, which we take for granted in the United States can turn into horrendous uh, infections here. And so we had an individual who was a pilot for MAF come in with a sore on his leg and we were able to treat that as, as soon as possible. It was just a cellulitis at this time. We didn't have lymphadenitis or lymphadenopathy associated with it, but we were able to provide some help for him. So as far as uh, the professions, uh, there's dentistry and all of the paradental type of uh, professions that are there, nursing. Uh, nurse practitioners, physicians, physician assistants. There's so many different individuals that we could have here, either short term or long term. And it's not just the obvious um, treating people in the clinical type setting, but we have community health clinics where um, four days per week we have a group that is going out to the local community providing well baby care and immunizations. We have POC where there could be a nurse uh, physician there, not only providing care, but providing education, because we have these village teams that are going out, and not only are they translating God's Word, but they're also providing for the care, and just very uh, hands-on, tan uh, tangible type of care that they're doing for the people in the village. And so they need to know what to do, and what their limitations are before um, definitely sending them on to a higher level of care and that could be taught to them and so just the educational value that you bring community health education where you're teaching those in the community they, they're just eager to learn and having some of this stick improving the health of the community and then they define their own health needs and finding how they can solve their own health needs with what you what you teach them I'm Melanie Campbell and I'm from the U.S. from Southern California, although actually I'm originally from Peru since my parents are with SIL and, and still work as translators in Peru. But I love that I get to do um, a lot of different things here and get to work in the laboratory and in the pharmacy and see patients and help out with a lot of uh, different things that I wouldn't get to do at home. One thing is helping with medevacs when patients need to go um, to Australia for medical care. Um, we can't provide um, some of the care here um, that we have back at home. I've known that God was calling me to be a missionary since I was young, and so I became a nurse and a nurse practitioner, um, and um, got married to someone who also knew they were called to missions. And we chose to come to Papua New Guinea because um, they have a clinic where I can work and join a, a great team um, providing medical care. And my husband um, does computer support, and they have a great need for computer support personnel here also. They also have a great school here, and I have two young kids, and so I look forward to them having a good place to get an education also. I'm Natalie Nelson, I'm from Australia, New South Wales, and I'm the left hip. One of the things I love about working here is that I get to do a lot of different things. Back home in pathology you do one thing and that's, that's all you're really good at that one thing, but that's all you get to do. But here in your Crump I get to do a wide range of different disciplines and I get to see heaps of stuff that I don't get to see back home. So a lot of malaria and tuberculosis and things like that, so I really feel like I'm making a difference here. I love life outside the clinic. I love that there's a community here that I get to be a part of and wish we could be better. Um, yeah, that I get to um, live with the same people that I work with and go to church with. And 
I think it's a depth of relationship and community that, yeah, it's like a small town, but better. I really love it.